What's up everybody, it's your boy Wick. I'm bringing you another ESX tutorial. So anybody that I know that runs the ESX um, server, as well as the QB core, a lot of people here use Wasabi Police. It's actually a very good um, police script. It lets you literally optimize your whole server on how you want it. And this is what I use if I was gonna open up another server. It is a paid script. It is $49.99. To me, that is decently priced. It's cheaper than a lot of, you know, other LEO scripts that I have seen in the past. Um, a little thing about this, you know, you got multiple stations that you can that you can put in yourself. It's totally customizable to whatever you want your server. You got tackling, you got hand handcuffs you got resisting arrest you got escorting radar posts cctv system built in built in fines you can um configure the keybinds you got cloakrooms armories evidence lockers the boss menu search inventories garage system pre-existing features um it has replacement features for all of esx police job and qb police job job replacement it, i mean it's an all-in-one thing that you want so the dependencies is es extended or qb core depending what your server is um ox my uh sql and obviously you need the wasabi bridge if you pay the 49.99 you'll get that included i know some of you people try to get free scripts by certain websites and it's not always the case because you sometimes don't get the dependencies you want but once you say if you bought this for 49.99 right you get like you get two files like this and, and they're pretty simple so you know i'm gonna make a folder myself call it wasabi underscore police i'm gonna make another folder it's gonna be wasabi underscore bridge and i could be butchering this name by the way <laughs> so the first one is the bridge so we're gonna bring this one up and literally all we're gonna do is just do that <clears throat> drag and drop and there isn't anything that you have to change in here just making just double checking so you can go ahead and click that out click that out drag and drop into here now in the police you do have some um SQLs. You got this. Uh, yeah. Okay. So what we're gonna do here? I always bring up my uh, database first. So what we're gonna do here. We're gonna bring up Wasabi Police. It's gonna be a blank file that we have here. Maybe. Okay. We're gonna drag and drop. There we have it. So oh, there's some stuff we got to do here. So I'm going to bring up my database. We all should know what a database is. That's uh, I use PH, uh, PHP, my admin. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to import this SQL or these right here into my uh, PHP, my admin. If you don't know what that looks like, it looks like this. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to import. Uh, I'm going to go to desktop. Let's be police. Install first. ESX, uh, SQL. So I'm going to load that because you have to have an off duty. If we're going to do this. So off duty, police, off duty, sheriff. You have to have that just to let you guys know to have to do it. All right, we're gonna import another one. We're gonna in, uh, we're gonna import ESX persistent cuff. All right, that went through. And then last but not least, we're going to do the items. All right. Okay, I don't need this no more. Get that over there. So now what I'm going to do is 
here is uh, the items for aux inventory. So we're going to go to aux, aux inventory. We are going to go to data. We are going to go to items. All right. Now what we're going to do. Oh. All right. Now what we're going to do is copy all this because we, we're putting this in our aux inventory. And then I always do it after this. I, I just hit enter. That way, I know I don't mess it up. And I'm just going to hit file and save. Now what we need to do next is go back, inventory items. We're going to go to web, images, and we're going to get the bobby pin, the handcuffs, and a tracking bracelet. Put it in here. <clears throat> bada boom, bada bang. We're in there. Uh, tracking bracelet. So I just always go look just to make sure. Of course, I always open it up the wrong way. And we have the tracking bracelet. Not bad. All right. Next, what we're going to do is drag police in here. Okay, now after you get this in, obviously we're gonna do a show. We're gonna do a showcase. Depending on what police department you have, MLO you have, you're gonna you're gonna configure this to how your server is, right? Um, configuration right here, config.lua, right? Now, like I said again, you're gonna configure this to your own server, so. Language, use target, true. And it's going to tell you out here, like, if you want to use a custom car lock billing system, billing data, it's going to be the bank, obviously. Jail is enabled. Here is your, here is your, uh, the coordinates to the prison. Um, the clothing for, like the cloakroom, or, or sorry, this is a gel outfit, my bad. So you can retexture it here. Um, search players, all police shops, the search players for items must have inventory and bridge or one RD. Okay, it literally walks you through it. Grant weapon license. Uh, CCTV cameras. Locations of them. You can even add locations of the cameras. Radar posts, miles per hour. But I'm looking for... Okay, right here, locations. So... Enabling clocking in and out at a set location. If using ESX, you must have an off-duty job for each. Example, off police for police, off sheriffs for sheriffs if you have grades. Pretty self-explanatory, right? Uh, you go off-duty, Texas to play if not using target. And the distance you see that is obviously right there. Where you want your boss menu at, your armory. Uh, then what rank you have um, will determine what weapon you have. Cloakroom, where you want your cloakroom at. Like I said, you have to configure this um, to your server. It's very, it, it's, see, enable personal locker for the station. Obviously, I want to put a personal locker in case you have a uh, 
you know, police officer that's not very trustworthy. <laughs> here is your police cruisers. It's just endless opportunity here. And I really like this script. Wasabi is a very great script. And if I butcher your name again, I'm I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> if you see this, it is what it is. But yeah, we're gonna go inside the game and hit our. I think it's your F5 muscle. Bring or F5 or F6. We'll see in game, and then we'll set, we'll set our job to police, and then I'll just show you um, a couple features. Like I said, this I don't have this configured. I really just did this install as this tutorial, making this tutorial. So I don't have anything configured, and obviously it's laid out here in your config dot Lua. Um, the reason I'm making this video because I haven't seen anybody show anybody how to install this. So here this portion is. Um, as always, we'll be right back when we're inside the server. All right, y'all. So we're back here in um, the server. So what we need to do is set our job. The set job. Oops, look at that. One job police. I'm going to go four for boss. Check my job again. And it says, okay, I'm a police captain. I'm on duty. So what we're going to do now, we're going to test it out. I think it's F5. No, it's F6, sorry. So, as you see here, we can check identification if we had somebody around. Obviously, we don't. Um, issue weapon license again. Oh, I can issue myself a weapon license. Okay, you awarded a weapons license to 5558 five, Wick. So there, we have our own weapons license. Um, gel suspect. Handcuffed suspect soft. Handcuffed suspect hard. Escort suspect. Um, escort, place in vehicle, remove from vehicle, via vehicle interactions, radar posts, CCTV cameras, tracking bracelet, view tracking bracelet, place objects, finds. I really want to use that uh, tracking bracelet, but we can go to the CCTVs, and you can, and you can honestly edit this to like whatever it is. Um, let's look at that that one. Okay, and two. Okay, and it looks like WASD um, moves this one. This is the most famous 24-7, you know, <laughs> that everybody likes to go to in RPN. But yeah, you can move it around. There's the fan. So it's that easy. And I think you just hit escape. Yeah. And I don't have this configured whatsoever, this um, MLO. This is the one you see in no pixel that I bought. It was very expensive. But wherever, I don't know this police, police station that well. But you would have to configure this to how you would want it. I mean, that's reception. So say if I, let's, I, I don't know this. Oh, apparently the on and off duty is right here. So see, I have to, so you're off duty. So I'm off duty now. So you got to, you got to edit all this how to your server. If you want to do the off duty, on duty thing. Um, my server or this server is a hybrid server so it is v menu slash economy a um, little bit of twist to it it's easier to do v menu but i also wanted to have an economy to where people can grind as well and do stuff like v menu servers do but yeah that's waspy police but like i said like where you go on and off duty at where your evidence is at where your armory is at it looks like right here this is evidence drop, so you would edit it to like maybe come over here, hit E, and it'll come up as a box. And uh, you would put your correlation of your report to your whatever evidence box number you get told that you put it into. But yeah, like I would I would edit it to this. And for me, I use vMenu because I can just go here, developer tools, show coordinates, and then like in that file or where it says, um, we'll go to police, uh, loss of police. We'll go to game configuration, config.lua, right? So we're going to go to where it says evidence locker. I need to put that over here because, uh, let me see if I can find it. So I'm trying to do this kind of fast to make this tutorial under 20 minutes. Sometimes it's hard. Uh, let's see. 
locations right here, LSPD. So I'm going to just put this, I'm going to change this. It's going to be Los Santos Police Department. Okay. So boss menu, armory, cloakroom, personal locker, evidence locker right here. So yeah, I gotta read this. So evidence locker, enable evidence locker for this station. We're gonna And this is all under Los Santos, right? Sorry, guys. I got to make sure we're under. Okay, LSPD. All right. So make sure you edit it in the right area. <laughs> okay, so I want evidence locker. So we're going to write true here. Okay. So area to prompt personal locker, job lock please, range that will pop from the core of two. Let's see, enabled. If enabled, the location above will be obsolete. Okay, that's target, so we'll just do the E. Alright, so what we're gonna do here is you're gonna take your your X, your Y, and your Z. So this is your X, so it'd be 478.1, and then it's gonna be Negative nine eight seven point eight one. Gotta love keybinds. This took a picture. <laughs> and then this is gonna be thirty uh, dot six nine. Thirty dot six nine. All right. So again, file and save. Okay. What I do, I, I'm sure you can restart it right there. Go ahead, go ahead, hit F eight. And then my server console, I'm gonna put restart. Wasabi. Police. Spell it right. All right, it restarted. I should have an evidence here, hopefully. It does, oh, yep, access evidence. So locker, blah, 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 whatever your police report is. Like when I run servers, my locker number is my police report. That way it correlates with everything, but it's that simple. You can literally edit anything. You just see me edit the um, evidence locker. Um, obviously, this is the, you know, per this MLO, it says, uh, where does it say that at? Evidence drop. So, this would be the evidence drop. I'd come in here, hit E, and I don't even think I have anything in my inventory. Yeah, see, I don't have anything. So, I would just, whatever I confiscated off the perp, I would just put there. But hey, this is Wick. If you have any questions, just ask. Um, I know installing some scripts is hard. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you really enjoyed it, hit that subscribe button. And if you guys want any other tutorials made, just let me know. And if I know how to do it, I'll do it. Peace out, guys.